What is up guys, Under Average Joe here, we are back with our Ancient 14 Be A Gym commentary series, and uh, as you can blatantly see, we are in the trade deadline, yay, woo, uh, oh, dang, I just, uh, accidentally hit the hang up button, um, one other great matters, there's nobody I really plan on, like, specifically trading, uh, nobody in particular is going to go, I believe that right now as a team we are doing very well. Uh, except I was on the fence at this moment, uh, like I was looking at my roster last night, uh, while I was uploading the other video, uh, last, yesterday's, uh, commentaries, uh, the shootout commentary, and I was looking at this, minus three, I mean, sure he's good on the power play, but we do have Tarasenko, we have Mantha coming up, and I don't know where Gallagher would fit in with a long-term deal, um, where, like, Say, uh, Anthony Mantha next year, what if he gets to, like, a, what if he jumps, like, a, a 70 overall, then the year after that he goes to, like, 80-something, you know, he, he, and Mantha's gonna be good. He's four and a half, gold star, and, uh, what, he's a sniper, correct? Power forward, alright, even better. Uh, so where we'll have Tarasenko, who's a sniper, on our second line, uh, for pretty much the rest of his career, maybe. <laughs> as long as Franzen's still around. Actually, Franzen might retire in a couple years. Uh, Zetterberg's got a couple years. So, uh, our first line's kind of aging. But then we get Tarasenko. Mantha's gonna be on that left wing in a couple years. We get over to, uh, Filpulik and he's probably still gonna be a second liner. But we get some guys like, uh, Nyquist who can really get up there. We get, uh, Sheehan who's got some potential, I believe. Yeah, I believe he still does. I don't think he's fully developed. Three and a half green stars. You know, we've, we've got a couple guys. Uh, whereas here's Ferrero. Uh, he was doing yeah, three and a half gold stars. And uh, he's not doing too shabby down in the minors. You know, anything could happen. But I honestly, I don't see Gallagher really fitting in with our current system. And he is going to cost a crud ton of money at the end of the season. So I do plan on getting rid of him. But it needs to be a move where uh, we can still kind of clear cal uh, calories back. <laughs> salary cap space, uh, which we, is going to be really hard to do. So I might, I might not even stick to that. Uh, I might even get a guy that like uh, is going to be around for like a year. Because if you look at it, we've got, uh, let's see, wingers. Uh, we've got the big guy is Yurko, who actually I'm kind of on the fence about trading. Uh, but when we've got guys like Mantha and uh, a lot of these guys like uh, Nyquist already plays on the wing, we can move Ferrero over, we can move like Sheehan or Tatar over. You know, Tatar could, he could be playing this year. He should be. He's a 78 overall. Uh, he could even, he should have been playing on the third line, but we are that deep where we can afford, you know, get rid of these guys uh, and have them down in the uh, AHL. Um, where in the next few years, our first line is going to be gone. We could have Mantha, Tatar, or Nyquist, probably. Maybe, yeah, maybe Nyquist. And Tarasenko is that first line of the future right now. Then, say, like, Filpula with, uh, uh, actually, <laughs> I don't even know. With, like, Tatar or, uh, you know, just along something along those lines. But with our current salary cap situation, and we're going to have to sign Mantha, we're going to have to sign a couple guys. I honestly, I don't see where Gallagher fits in. Uh, do I, I'll wait like a round or two. Uh, if we don't get any offers next round for anybody, then I will probably see if I can make a move. Uh, but I'm only going to make a move with Gallagher if I feel like it is absolutely perfect and it really can benefit us. Like, I don't think Anaheim has anything to offer. Uh, see, but I'm not gonna try and go for anybody in specific. Uh, I'm not even sure. I probably should have looked at the overall standings to see. I could have gotten, like, a really good draft pick out of it. But, oh well. Uh, actually, let's look at that. Let's look at these draft picks real quick. Uh, ooh, Los Angeles first pick. That looks really, really tempting. Uh, Carolina and Los Angeles are up there. Uh, Colorado is not. No. No. Um, there's a lot of teams that are just ditching their draft picks this year. 
It's a little interesting. Los Angeles doesn't have their draft pick. Montreal. Uh, that'd be funny if we traded Gallagher back to Montreal. Who'd we trade? We traded like Bertuzzi or something to Montreal. Um, let's see. The Rangers. Ottawa. Because how cool would it be to actually... Because I know we're going to be really tight on draft picks the next couple of years. Because we did trade a lot of our picks away. But it'd be really cool to actually get a pick back for Gallagher. I mean, for a guy who we might not even keep in the future anyways. Now, the only problem I see with this is uh, who would we bring up now to replace uh, Gallagher? I mean, I'm thinking possibly Nyquist. You know, he, he's a guy that can possibly fill that gap. I'm not 100% sure on the situation. But, uh, alright, this is not even league approved. That's fine. Um, so, what, what is the consensus here? Should we keep Gallagher and just keep moving forward with our season? And, uh, because at this point, we're in the running for a president's trophy. So, I think we're pretty good. But I'm worried about being able to keep the team intact in the future. Which is, uh... Like, uh, like with our salary cap issues that are going to be coming up in the next few years, I'm a little concerned. But I think for this year, we are perfectly good where we're at. I feel like uh, there's nobody that really stands out as, hey, we need to trade this specific guy. I think as a team, we are looking really, really good. Uh, so let's see. Who, do they, who are they sending down the minors? Anybody we want to pick up? Uh, no, not Derek McKenzie. Eric Gustafson. Uh, three gold star. Uh, he might be a nice little pickup. Uh, free agency. Let's let's look around. All right, so there's this Costca guy, and Gustafson. I'm gonna pass on Costca. Uh, I'm I'm gonna pick up Gustafson just cause you know. I mean, if anybody else doesn't. Uh, he actually he looks like a guy who. There we go. We got him down in the minors. Okay. Uh, he actually he doesn't seem too bad. He's a guy that we could stick around with. Um, let's see, can we send down that Emerton guy? Or is he... Oh, he's a two-way. Oh, but he's eligible for minors. Oh, doesn't that suck? Alright, uh, down here. There we go, so hopefully, uh, he helps out our minor league team a little bit. Uh, now we have two guys that are above 75 overall. And if we need to, if there's any, like, major injuries, we could bring up Gustafson. I think as it stands right now, everything in the minors is pretty good. I'm gonna put 2-2 two -two on the second line, just, uh... Should I? 42 points. Actually, Tutu's doing really good. What about Yurko? Uh, Yurko's right up there, but I want to give Yurko some playing time. Oops. I am very sorry. I just banged my desk with my knee. Uh, I'm trying to find a comfortable position here because I'm sitting in for the long haul. I'm trying to record a lot of videos today. Uh, and I might take a little break and go back and watch the hockey games going on now like the Czech Republic in the United States as of recording this uh, last I checked it was two to one US and Canada and Latvia uh, is currently one to one uh, now I'm not sure I've been up here for about 10 minutes now recording this so I'm not quite sure where they stand now but last I saw it was one one so that would be really interesting to see the direction the game goes um, I'm not going to say who I'm rooting for in either game. Well, obviously I'm rooting for Canada versus Latvia. Um, but because I will be releasing a shootout video tonight. And uh, as tradition with the Olympics, I want to get this going. Uh, I'm going to play the team. I'm going to use the teams that I'm supporting in both games uh, in the shootout. So look out for that later. Uh, and right now we're on a... Oh, I, was, <laughs> I, just, I jinxed it. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, we're on a pretty good win streak right now. But, uh, nope, it was not meant to be. What about, there we go, uh, Columbus there. We are doing really, really well. I'm really happy with the progress we're making at this point. Uh, we don't have a whole lot of scoring off our first line, but we've got depth, which is really, it really makes a difference in between a good team and just a great team. Uh, we're definitely going to, Break. We're going to demolish the standard that the owner set for us this season. There we go. Here's our 42 wins. I'm pretty sure we had to get 42 or 43, something like that. Uh, there we go. We could beat the Oilers. There we go. So, yeah, we are pretty much clinching a playoff spot in this episode. Uh, I plan on finishing out the regular season in this episode. Um, 
just because uh, I want. I'm just so excited to use this team and really get to the playoffs and see if this is our year where we bring Detroit back to glory and we bring them. We bring a cup back home. You know, it's one of those things where uh, th- this is a probably my favorite series that I'm doing. Uh, the Winnipeg Jets series. Sure, Winnipeg's my favorite hockey team, but I felt like it was forced a little bit. But where this team, it's a good team. So, I mean, it, it, it's fun to see the playoffs and see how it shapes up and what matchups we have. Uh, but this is a team where even if we get a couple injuries, it's not going to completely kill the series like it was in Winnipeg. And we can still have a half-decent team even if we get riddled with injuries. Uh, like right now in the real NHL, Henrik Zetterberg's injured. And in our game, Henrik Zetterberg's injured. Um... So I'm going to bring up Nyquist to the second line because I want to see how he does. We'll put Eves up. Uh, that means we need to bring up somebody. They, or Unless they already brought somebody up for us. Let's see. Uh, do you know what? I want to put Roosevelt on the right wing just so I don't have to bring anybody up. Oh, uh, that's great. Do I want Tarasenko or Gallagher? Gallagher had quite a few power play goals. Um, seven for Tarasenko. If Gallagher only has seven still, then I'm going to leave him down there. How many does he have? There's icicles falling outside, so if you hear like a thing, like a crash outside, don't worry. My house isn't going to broken into or anything, it's just uh, icicles, whatever. I want to put Nyquist on the power play. I, I'm really excited to see Nyquist develop, even though he's four red stars. Uh, he is a pretty good player for us, and I'm I just excited to see how he works out. Hopefully he does stick with the team for the long haul, and he can work out. Uh, let's. I want to put Gallagher on the penalty kill. There we go. Uh, four on four lines, definitely Franz, and we're gonna put Tarasenko up there. Uh, Gallagher can go there. Sorry, so it's gonna be Datsuk and then Franzen on the extra attacker. We're gonna replace him on the shootout. Also, I'm gonna put Nyquist up there. There we go. So even if with an injury to Zetterberg, our roster doesn't look too bad. It does hurt our depth a little bit, but Tarasenko can still. You know, he, he can compete with the big dogs. You know, he's got 42 points this season. Uh, he, he's definitely up there. How many does Gallagher have? Does he have any more, any less? Uh, 40. So he's right up there with Tarasenko. Those are a really great one-two punch that I like having around. Nyquist himself isn't bad either. Uh, 29 points on the season, but a plus 30. We're just racking up uh, plus minus on that third line. Um, but an injury to our top guys definitely does affect our depth. But it doesn't, like, completely demolish our entire roster, you know? Um, so let's see. Let's scout forwards a little bit. Because we are going to have some retirements in the next few years. So it's going to be good to uh, see how the... Uh... Oh, wow. Ooh, lots of stuff from the OHL. It's going to be interesting to see if we can get anything in the draft. And if we can survive the draft. Because uh, we don't have any picks, but... I'm going to scout QMJHO again, because there's no way those guys have no stars. I mean, that there's no way. Uh, so, three weeks left in the season. Let's see how we can close her out. Because uh, we only, we're almost running out of time, and I want to at least see who we're matched up against in the first round by the end of this video. 2-1 uh, loss. If we can just hang in there for a few... Wait, how, how long is it till Zetterberg's back, though? Um, This might not... Demo- all right, a couple days. So it's not going to ruin our... Uh, I think we have a clinched playoff spot at this point, unless we just completely implode. Actually, I, th- I think even then we'll be safe. I mean, 45 on the win, uh, 45 wins on the season is nothing to, nothing to sniff at. Uh, there we go. Oh, Tatar, oh, Tatar's back, hopefully. Yes. Yes, we have our top line all back together. I'm going to leave 2-2 on the second line just because uh, I want to give Yurko some playing time. Towards this end of the season, once we get a playoff, uh, once we get the playoff action, I really want to see him develop. Uh, there we go. So Zetterberg should be back by the end of this week. Well, he'll definitely be back by the end of this week. Might be back in a. Uh, what if he's back before the Island? Oh, Gustafson. Gustafson is injured. I always have trouble saying that names. I don't even know why. Um, hopefully he's back for the Islanders game. If not, he'll definitely be back for our game against Winnipeg. Uh, I. We can hope. <laughs> Ooh, five to one loss. That shows that we really need Zetterberg back. We haven't done too well with him gone. Uh, we should be able to handle Winnipeg with him gone at least. 
Uh, yeah. Ooh, hoo, hoo. okay. Make it a little interesting. Um, where is Zetterberg? I thought he'd be back by now. I thought he'd be back a little early. Oh, uh, there he goes. Okay. So, that had me a little nervous there. <laughs> Picking up those consecutive losses with Zetterberg gone. But now that we have him back in the lineup, everything should be A-OK. -okay. Roosevelt with a plus four. A little surprising. Uh, scroll over to defense. We want to scratch him. I think that was just funny. Just putting him on the, uh, that... Uh, fourth line there, even though he's a defenseman. Oh, jeez, I'm just screwing all this up. Here we go. Who else is injured? Oh, Ablocator, I forgot. Okay, so we need to put Zetterberg back on everything. I wonder if Nyquist got a power play goal. I'd be so happy. Yes, no, scroll over. Yes, he got one. Alright, that's all that matters. Uh, Zetterberg. Uh, Franz and... Oh, yeah, Zetterberg goes here. Put him up there. Uh, switch, yeah, swap them, Zetterberg goes up, there we go, four on four lines, switch them, uh, Zetterberg there, I'm gonna leave Gallagher there, uh, oh, extra tagger, screw Franz, and we want Zetterberg, uh, shootout, we wanna get rid of Nyquist, put Zetterberg up there, you know, you, you forget how huge of a player guys like Zetterberg are, but he's going to be retiring in a couple years. And that's going to really hurt our team. That's going to really kill us. Uh, unless we can get somebody like Mantha to step up. I'm really hoping Mantha works out. Uh, actually, I'm not hoping. We need him to work out. All right, come on. Uh, we have, like, what, five games left in the season? Let's close them out with some wins here. Uh, Pittsburgh's not doing too hot, and they still beat us. Ugh. All right. Um, we're going to go forwards again. Let's check out the QMJHL. Do they have anybody? at all. Uh, no, not really. Wow, QMJHL is really weak. Uh, scroll on over. Anybody worth draft? Uh, not drafting. Uh, looking at here. Uh, There's that one guy in the first round. I don't even think we have a first round pick this year, so it's all about... Well, if it's going to be all about the depth guys, I want to look at uh, QMJHL some more. See if we can really get those guys well scouted. Because uh, we're definitely not after the big names here, cause, considering we don't even have... We don't, yeah, we don't even have a first round pick. So going after the big names is kind of stupid. But look at that. Danny DeKaiser with a plus 37. That's awesome. Um, I would really love to have Applegator back because he kind of completes our third line there. Uh, he's that nitty-gritty player that every team needs. Uh, Calvin DeHaan. Um, ooh, three and a half gold stars, and you're going to wave him? I'll take him. Thank you. We get him? Oh, please tell me we got him. That would be so sweet. Yes? Yes, yes. There we go. Alright, we'll put him up there. Oh, uh, stupid Yurko. Um, yeah. I'm going to put him on the first line. Just because I can. Oh, that's sweet. Now, we'll probably end up trading him anyways. Because he's going to be a free agent. So he's going to want a crap ton of money. But oh well. At least we got him. Uh, we've got two games left in the season. And then we'll see who are matched up against, and then I will call it a day. Well, I won't call it a day, because I'm going to be back anyways, but you know what I mean. All right, so let's do this. All right, so he's on that second line. That's fine. Now that Gustafson's back, I can put him down on that uh, second defensive pairing. Uh, now we have another, another defensive prospect to concern ourselves with. All right, let's see. I haven't looked at the uh, standings in a little while, so I don't know if we're going to be... In the uh, running for President's Trophy. We just got one nothing win. Let's close out the season here. Uh, finish. Finish her up. Yeah. Uh, regular season has ended. We're going up against the Boston Bruins. This is going to be sweet. Oh my god. The Boston Bruins. Ooh, we're going back to an original six rivalry here. Uh, we got second in the league. We're down by three points to Chicago figures. Um, we clinched the conference. All right, so this is a great end of the season. Now we get home ice advantage the whole way, unless we go against Chicago. Um, so leave a like for this. We're going against Boston. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Uh, so I'm going to leave it on that note. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let me know uh, over the... Uh, like, in the next couple episodes, leave some ideas down in the comments of any, uh, any 
ideas for trades or any possible free agent signings or what you think the team needs. Like, if you think the team needs a third line young guy that can score, tell me. You know, let me know what you guys want. This is your team. This is your tutorial. This is your series. You guys can tell me what you want and I'll make. I'll, I'll make the magic happen, alright? So on that note, I will see you guys later. Peace.